Welcome to video 18, which is a, a video on the exam questions that have come up on Unit 3, Higher AQA, on non-right-angled triangle trigonometry. Again, these videos are of help to anyone doing this exam, but in particular for foundation, previous foundation students who are attempting the higher. Okay, as always with these, uh, you should have look, looked at video 17 and have some revision cards and know the theory. Now it's about putting that into practice and trying the exam questions. Pause the video, have a go at a question, okay, and then watch my answer to mark your work and correct it if needed. Okay, uh, take a look at this and in 10 seconds I'll go through. Okay, right, it talks about a triangular pot of land. It shows that angle, it asks for angle BAC is 33.3. It wants you to show that. Okay, how on earth do I do that? Well, let's go through our options. A triangle. Could it be Pythagoras? No, it's not a right angle. Could it be Sokotoa? No, it's not a right angle. Could it be the sine rule? No, we don't have a side and the angle opposite. We Well, we do, they've told us that, but we've got to show that. So really... At this stage, we, we're we, this is an unknown to us, and we're trying to work out what it is and prove it's this answer. So, um, it's the cosine rule. That's the only thing that's left over, and it's the cosine rule to finding, a, finding a, an angle. Now, look in the front of the formula booklet. We have our cosine rule is a squared is equal to b squared plus c squared minus 2bc cos of a. Okay? Now, we want to rearrange that to find angles, and rearranging that, we want cos of A is equal to B squared plus C squared minus A squared over 2BC. They are the same formula. This one is just the rearrangement of the one above to find angles. Now, I always said with the cosine rule, label the angle you're trying to find capital A. This makes this little a. And these two are B and C in any way you want them. Call that B, call that C. And substitute into the formula. So cos of our angle A is therefore equal to 160 squared, okay, plus 200 squared, minus 110 squared, all divided by 2 times B, 160, times C, which is 200. Okay, that gives us what cos of A is. So we type that in our calculator, 160 squared plus 200 squared minus 110 squared, and press equals at, at that stage, divided by 2 times 160 times 200, and I would get, I think I get something like 107 over 128. Okay, so that's cos of the angle. So to get the angle we do the inverse cos. So we do inverse cos of 107 over 128. So we type shift cos 107 divided by 128 close brackets equals. And we get the answer as we wanted. A is 33.3 degrees. Excellent, we've done it. Nice three mark question, and supposedly a hard question, but if you know what you're doing, uh, if you can rearrange the cosine rule and substitute in nicely, it's quite an easy question. Okay, take a look at the next one, pause the video, in 10 seconds I'll go through. Okay, we're asked to work out distance AC, so I'm just going to draw in the one we're asked to do, that one. Okay, what could we use? We've got a triangle here. What rules could we use? Could it be Pythagoras? No, it's not a right angle. Sokotoa? No, not a right angle. Sine rule? No, we don't have an angle on the side opposite. It must be, therefore, the cosine rule. Okay, and the side we're trying to find we always call little a. And therefore, the angle opposite is big A, and the other two sides are B and C, in any order you want. Let's call that one B, that one C. So if we want to work out this length here, it's A squared, we turn to the front of our formula booklets, and this is given to us. Remember the formula is A squared is B squared plus C squared minus 2BC cos of capital A. And that's given. So A squared is therefore equal to 25 squared 
plus 43 squared minus 2 times 25 times 43 times cos of 100. So if you work that out, what do you get for a squared? Well, 25 squared plus 43 squared minus 2 times 25 times 43 times cos 100, you get 2,847.34. So a is the square root of that. So a is the square root of that answer. And if you do the square root of that, you get 53.4 metres. Does it look reasonable? Yeah, it looks pretty reasonable. So 53.4 is our answer. Okay, take a look at the next question, pause the video, have a go, mark your work. Okay, it says here, um, we've got a triangle ABC, show the triangle has an obtuse angle. Obtuse means bigger than 90, but less than 180. Okay, now which one looks obtuse? That one looks like uh, is the one we're trying to uh, go for. Now, what rule on earth can we use to find this? Uh, the way we could do this is if we could find what that angle was, and it was bigger than 90, then we're done. Or, or if that one was, for example. Now, how could we go about doing this? Could we use Pythagoras? Well, no, no right angle triangle is shown. Same with Sokotoa, no right angle triangle. Could we use the cosine rule? Well, no, we don't have three sides or two sides and the angle in between. But it is the sine rule because we've got an angle and the side opposite. Okay, we've got an angle and the side opposite. Now, currently, we can't work out that angle because we don't know the side opposite. But we could work out that one there. So, always call the angle you're trying to find capital A. Okay, and that makes that one little a. And call the other two you've got capital B and little b. So, the sine rule says if you're trying to work out an angle, it says sine A over A equals sine B over little b. Okay, so we're just going to do that. So we're going to say sine of that angle divided by 5 must equal sine of 55 divided by 8. Rearrange to find uh, sine A. Sine A, multiply both sides by 5. That 5 ends up on top here. Okay, so type in your calculator 5 sine 55 equals divided by 8, and you get, uh, well, I'll write that 0.5119, etc. Now, that's sine A. You want A, okay? So you inverse sine that number, so 0.5119. So that would give you, inverse sine of that number would give you A is 30.8 degrees. Now, so what? Well, if that's 55 and that's 30.8, we can work out that one because the angle at B is therefore 180 minus 55 minus 30.8, which would give us that angle B is 94.2, and that therefore is obtuse. So this was a tricky question, but for five marks, you should have been able to at least realise you're using the sign rule you're using it to find an angle. You can't use it there because you don't know the side opposite, so you're forced with, to use that one and that one. Rearrange, get that angle, and then you can get that one by subtracting from 180. So it's a tricky question, but doable if you just keep your wits about you. Okay, we've got another two questions. Take a look at the next one, pause the video, have a go, then mark your work. Okay, it says we've got triangles ABD and BCD, work out the angle BCD. So B to C to D, this is the angle we want to find here. Okay, 
How on earth could we do it? Well, could we use any form of Pythagoras or Sokotor in here? Well, no, we don't have a right angle triangle. Could we use the sine rule? Well, no, uh, not yet, because we don't have a side and the angle opposite. Could we use the cosine rule? Well, no, we don't have this angle and the two sides. We don't know that angle, and we don't have three sides. Okay, well, let's put our attention for now. We're eventually coming to this triangle. Why don't we look at that triangle there instead, just to start with? Okay, why don't we look at that triangle? We've got two sides and the angle in between. Now, that's not a right angle triangle, but we could use the cosine rule here. Okay, we could use the cosine rule to find this missing side here. Now, call the side we're trying to find always little a, that makes that capital A, and these two are B and C in any order. Call that one B, that one C. Now, the cosine rule is given to us in the formula booklet. It's A squared equals B squared plus C squared minus 2BC cos of A. So, substituting in A squared must be 8 squared plus 9 squared minus 2 times 8 times 9 times cos of 73. So 8 squared, if we work all that out, 8 squared plus 9 squared minus 2 times 8 times 9 times cos 73, you should get about 102.9. And if you square root it, you square root that answer, you get 10.14 centimetres. So now we know this is 10.14. So look. We've got ourselves, let me redraw out our triangle here. I'm drawing this triangle here, by the way, now, that one there. Okay, we have now got this side we know is 10.14. We know this side is 7, we know this side is 5, and we want to work out that angle there. Okay, so we can again use the cosine rule, but this time to find an angle. Remember, the cosine rule to find an angle is cos A is B squared plus C squared. Okay, it's the rearrangement of this, minus a squared, all over 2bc. Call the angle you're trying to find a. So call that one there, capital A. That makes that little a. Call these b and c in any order you want. Let's call that b, c, for example. So cos of a, okay, that's going to be equal to 5 squared plus 7 squared minus 10.14 squared, all divided by... 2 times 5 times 7, so 5 squared plus 7 squared minus 10.14 squared equals, divided by 2 times 5 times 7, so 5. you get something like uh, that's equal to minus 0.4117. So A, therefore, is the inverse cos of that. So you inverse cos minus 0.4117. And you get 114.3 degrees. And that's your answer to this question here. Okay, last question coming up. Uh, pause the video, have a go, and I'll talk through the answers in 10 seconds. Okay, the question says find the largest angle in this triangle. Just by looking at it, it looks like that is going to be the angle. So, and by observation, if that's 14, 6 and uh, 10 there, that must be the largest. If you're trying to find that angle, call that A. The side opposite is little a. The other two are B and C in any order. Call that B and that C. Our formula booklet tells us that A squared equals B squared plus C squared minus 2BC cos A. By the way, the reason I'm using the cosine rule, it's not a right angle, so it can't be Pythagoras or Sokotoa. It can't be the sine rule because we don't, we're don't. we not given the angle and the side opposite, so it's got to be the cosine. We're finding an angle... 
So we don't want that version of the cosine, we want it rearranged with cos A the subject, and when we rearrange that, remember, we get b squared plus c squared minus a squared, all divided by 2bc, and that's the formula we use. Right, let's go ahead and do it. Cos of angle A is 6 squared, which is b, plus 10 squared minus 14 squared, all divided by 2 times 6 times 10. So 6 squared plus 10 squared minus 14 squared um, divided by 2 times 6 times 10, I get minus a half. So I get cos A minus a half. So to get the angle A, that's not A, that's the angle, cos of the angle. A is the inverse cos of minus 0.5 or minus a half. And you get 120 degrees. And that's our answer. 120 degrees. Okay, so I hope you found the following videos useful in your revision for non right angled triangles in Unit 3 Higher. Do remember, I know this topic can seem hard. If you go over the tutorial where I taught them and you're confident in why each rule applies and how to label your triangle, it's really just a case of using your calculator. It's quite easy, okay? So do practice these and good luck with the exam. See you in the next video uh, tutorial.